Yo, I'm back with a face cam, of course. Um, so I did tweak it a little bit. If you guys dig the new setup, let me know. But I'm back with an unboxing. That's right, today we're not doing 3D printing, though I do want to give an update. So I am going to keep doing 3D printed videos, though I need to wait on some more supplies to come in. Um, as you guys know, it is kind of an expensive hobby, but I've been saving up and just buying some more things that I need to really nail down the process. So make sure you guys stay tuned and just look out for updates with that. But anyway, I have an unboxing of something very special, and that is this. Check it out. It is a Beyblade Burst Rise Beyblade. I thought I'd never buy one of these. Um, it's been a very long time since I bought a Hasbro Beyblade, and I bought this for two reasons. Uh, number one, like I said, it's been a while since I bought Hasbro. I wanted to see where they're at now with Hypersphere. And two, it's Spryzen. Come on, guys. Um, Spryzen is one of the most overrated and most popular Beyblades to date. Um, the whole Spryzen or Spriggan series is very popular amongst a lot of people and it's shoe, you know, that's kind of why. Um, but anyway, uh, here we have it. This is one of the latest uh, releases of the new wave. I found it at my local Target, picked it up for I think 15, which is an okay price, I'd say. You get two Beyblades, um, no launchers though. It's a double pack, as you guys can see. So the first combo is Crash Roctivore is what it's called, I think. Um, heavy, and then I think this is a charge, but I don't know which charge it is because there's three different charges in Hypersphere, I guess. Um, and then the other one is Lord Spryzen, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Lord Spryzen um, S5, and then Blitz without the uh, gimmick, and then Dimension um, Hypersphere. And if you guys notice, I spilt Sprite all over this thing on accident. Um, long story, but yeah, that's kind of it. Let's, uh, let's try to open this thing. I didn't bring scissors, so I hope I can just kind of bust this open. But yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be back. Um, I'm chilling. I'm happy to make a face cam again because it's been a long time since then. Um, and the first thing we get are instructions, so... Let's check this out. So it's funny that it talks about launchers here, if you guys can see that, but there's no launchers included. Like, what's the point of showing that off? So just some generic instructions, and oh boy. I, I've already voiced my opinions on Hasbro. I personally, I don't support Hasbro anymore since all these changes that they've made. Um, check this out. Oh man, this, this does not look too hot. And I say that because we'll, we'll just get right into it. I need to pop these parts off. We're going to start off with the first combo. Okay, here they are piece by piece, but I'm going to, I guess I'll start off with this Roctivore layer. What is this called? Is this Crash Roctivore? I want to say, I don't even, okay, anyway, um, this is a Chozy, I guess, uh, Turbo Ragnarok, just recolored. It's not a bad recolor, I guess, it's yellow and purple, which kind of just works out, and then the, I guess, metal bits are painted, though they're not actually metal, if the camera would focus. So there you guys have it. There's the QR code. If anyone even plays the app anymore, let me know. I thought that app was just kind of like a phase, but yeah, I stopped playing that app a long time ago. The next thing is heavy, which I thought was weird. Why would they include this? I mean, it's a really old disc. There's no reason to use it. And then this charge, which looks really interesting. It's all plastic and it looks like it might be the stamina one, though I might be wrong. Um, so, comes together, of course, there's no teeth, it's just slopes, and you just slide it. Honestly, the colors aren't terrible on this. It kind of remind me of, like, just a fruity color scheme. Alright, but that's enough 
of that. Our main focus is, of course, Lord Spryzen. And I do have the Takara Tommy version to com compare this with. And I just dropped it. Okay. So let's go ahead and bust this thing open. Okay, I'm going to save the layer for last because it's actually kind of interesting how Hasbro made it work. Um, so our focus here is, I guess, Dimension. This really vaguely looks like Dimension. So I got to give them props. They kind of engraved Dimension into this driver, though it doesn't have the gimmick. Like, you can't move this at all. It's just one piece. Um, and then... You can just see it's basically a chunky driver, just like every other hypersphere. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say about that. The next thing is this kind of boneless blitz. And I say that because there's no plastic component to this. I'm sure you guys know the gimmick of the original blitz was that it's supposed to stick out these wings, uh, which strike opponents, but this doesn't have that at all. On the plus side, though, you can attach a frame, so it's essentially a core disc now. Um, I think that's pretty interesting, though it's very small. Like, this thing is puny. I don't think anyone would want to use these, or use this disc. Maybe for a three-sided Beyblade, I could see that being used, but you get the idea. Okay, so with this layer, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, the first thing I want to mention is that the colors are roughly accurate and I say that because they're really kind of just washed out almost oversaturated maybe uh, you'll you'll see so let me try to figure out how to even oh here we go so here is the Lord base wow this thing is hollow as heck um, look at that yeah there's no rubber first of all um, that was the main gimmick with Lord I mean, that's kind of what makes it really good, is that it had rubber. And another gimmick that you guys might not know is that it had a built-in burst stopper in the base. It was kind of like an extra tab here, and I don't see that at all. So Hasbro completely stripped it of everything. And on top of that, just made the whole thing hollow. On the plus side, though, it still kind of looks like it has metal. These are just silver bits, and um, you still can change the modes on this. So... Props to Hasbro for keeping at least the mode change gimmick still. Um, as for the chip, this is really interesting too. Um, of course, it kind of just gives off the impression that it's a GT chip, though it's not. Um, but check out the bottom. We do get the QR code if you want to scan that thing. I'm sure you guys have it though. Um, but look at the center here. There is a metal bit here. I'm going to guess it kind of adds weight. Um... Yeah, interesting. So the way to change the modes on this thing, at least I'm going to try to figure it out, is you just kind of pop it in. So here's right spin mode. And then for left spin, I want to say it works the same way. Oh, okay. I figured it out. You literally just twist the uh, slope on this. Twist it about, you know, 180 degrees. And bam, it now fits into the slot, and it's now left spin. So that's actually not a bad gimmick. I'm, I'm going to give them that. Um, yeah. So let's take a just overall look at this thing. I mean, for what it is, it's not terrible. It still looks aesthetically correct in terms of colors. But let me just show you something. All right. I mean, I'm sure people have done this comparison, but look. Look at the difference here. It's, it's night and day. You have the original Takartomi. We're talking rubber, all gimmicks, and then you get this. This is like when your mom says you can't go to McDonald's because you have food at home. And so this is what you want to get at McDonald's, and then this is what you have at home. So <laughs> I don't know what kind of comparison that was, but you've seen that meme, I'm sure. Um, take a look it, it's such a big difference and I'm just I feel so bad for the people who have to buy Hasbro like I get that some people either can't afford it or they don't have the ability to buy TT but Hasbro is really not giving you the best product like come on this 
this is OP, this is still very good in today's meta. And then you get this. But it's whatever, I guess. This is not much we can do. Um, I, at the end of the day, if this is all you can get, I guess it's better than nothing. Just make sure you're not buying fakes, please. Um, but yeah, you're probably wondering, why don't you do a test battle or whatever? Well, the thing is, I don't have a hypersphere stadium. And I don't think it's going to bring out its full abilities if I use a standard stadium. And I know some people would get upset. So I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys think I should test it out or buy a hypersphere stadium, I probably will someday. And maybe even get more hypersphere, maybe. That's a, that's a big maybe because, honestly, I don't think this is at all worth it. I think Slingshock was bare minimum passable. And then this, this is just a monstrosity. It, it's... I can't even call this Beyblade anymore. Um, you guys can hate me for that, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um, again, I'm, I'm back for real. I'm going to be making more face cams, hopefully, and of course, more 3D printing. I actually have lots more plans, so please keep an eye out. And maybe, just maybe, we'll hit 100K by the end of the summer. Anyway. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.